Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to start looking at straight lines. Do you guys remember the chapter where we looked at functions and what we would do is we would take this minus 1 and we would plug it into this function and you would get an answer on the other side. So if we plug minus 1 into the place of x, that would be minus 1 plus 4 which would give you 3. If you plug in 0, you would get 0 plus 4 which is 4 and then 1 plus 4 which is 5. If we had, and then we said that these were our x values and these were our y values. So if I make a little table quickly, so when x is minus 1, then y is 3. When x is 0, then y is 4. And when x is 1, y is 5. If I quickly draw a xy diagram, where we said that this was x and this was y, then we could plot those points. So when x is minus 1, which is here, then y is 3, so that's going to be a dot over there. When x is 0, which is here, then y is 4, so we should go up by 4. So that's a dot over there. And then when x is 1, which is here, then y is 5, so that's somewhere over here. Now if we had to connect those, look what we formed, a straight line. So what's incredible is that whenever you have something like this, it will always make a straight line. So the rule for this one was y was equal to x plus 4. So when you get ever get something like this, it looks like a straight line. So mathematicians have said that a straight line always has the following type of equation. You always have this y and you always have this x and then sometimes you've got a number, well you always have a number in the front, in this case you can think of it as a 1, and then there's always a number at the end, like plus, plus 4 for example. So y equals mx plus c is the general formula of a straight line. Please remember that, y equals mx plus c, straight line. y equals mx plus c, straight line. These are all straight lines, because they've got a y equals 2, then there's a number, and then an x, and then another number, a number, x, and then another number, a number, x, and another number, a number, x, and another number. So as long as it has a y equals to mx plus c, where m can be any number, and then c is the number that comes afterwards. Or it's the number that doesn't have x. So the number that goes with x, that's always m, and the other one is c. So for example, I could reverse it and I could say 2 plus 4x, then the 4 is still going to be called your, or that's still the m because it's the one that goes with x, and then the 2 is going to be your c. This one over here is also a straight line, but it looks a bit weird because we know that a straight line is meant to look like this. But guess what? We are good at maths and we can rearrange this equation so that it will look like that. So what we do is we get the y to the left hand side and we get everything else to the right. So we're going to end up with minus 2y equals to, this 3x is going to become minus plus 8. Now we need to get rid of this minus 2, so we're going to divide by minus 2 because then it cancels, but then you have to divide everything by minus 2. And so you end up with y equals to, this you could type on your calculator, but it's 3 over 2x. And then a plus and a minus, this would make minus 4. Now this is like your normal straight line again, where you've got a y, like this, equals some number, which is 3 over 2, and then another number, which for us is minus 4. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can rearrange this one so that it looks like a normal straight line. So what we would do is you would get the y by itself on the left and take everything else over so it would become 10 plus 5x. Then you would need to get y alone so you'd have to divide by 5 but then you must divide everything by 5 and so that cancels and so you have y is equal to 10 divided by 5 is 2 and this 5 divided by 5 is x. It doesn't matter if you've got it this way around or if you have it that way around. But this is now the normal equation for a straight line. So this is the way it works. This part here is a straight line. It's just not written in the normal straight line way. 
If we write something in the normal straight line way, we call that standard form. So this one here is still a straight line, it's just not written in standard form. This is standard form, where the y is alone. Let's practice getting equations into standard form. So remember standard form looks like this. So you want the y by itself. It doesn't matter if your c or your m is switched around, but you want y by itself. So to get y by itself here, it's already on the left, so we just need to divide everything by 3. And so this would cancel, and so you would get y equals to 2x minus 3. This is called standard form. Here, we need to take this and this away, because 5y needs to be alone. So it's going to be, when that 20x moves over, it will become positive, And when that 10 moves over, it also becomes positive. Now we need to divide everything by 5. And so that will be y equals to 4x plus 2. That is called standard form. Alright, so with this one, we want to get the y by itself. So we leave it where it is because it's positive, And we take the 3x over. So we'll end up with 4y equals to the 3x will become positive plus 8. And then to get y alone, you would divide by 4 so that this cancels out. And so you get y equals to 3 over 4x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then with this next one, you want to get the y by itself. So it's already positive. So we'll take the 7 and the x to that side. So the x will become a negative. You can say negative 1x if you want. And this minus 7 will become plus or positive. And there we have y by itself. That is called standard form. Here's the last two. So you want to get y as a, or on the left by itself. So minus 7y will stay there. This 3x will move over where it will become negative. You then divide everything by negative 7 in order to get y alone. And so y will be equal to, and then this negative and this negative cancels. So that'll be 3 over 7x plus, oh no, this will actually become negative. You can type it in on your calculator will be negative 2 over 7. For the next one, here's the y, so we need to just move the 4x over, so y will be equal to minus 4x plus 8. And so standard form is all about getting the y by itself. As we carry on with this chapter, you'll start to see why we do that.